computational thinking students. In this tutorial, we will see how to solve computational thinking week 2 practice assignment. First question, what will be the value of x after execution of the following procedure using the scores data set? Step 1, arrange all cards in a single pile called pile 1. Step 2, maintain a variable x and initialize it to 0. Step 3, if pile 1 is empty, then stop the iteration. Step 4, read the top card in pile 1. Step 5, if town city is Chennai and total marks greater than x, then store total marks in x. Step 6, move the current card to another pile called pile 2 and repeat from step 3. From step 5, we can understand that the first filtering condition is about city being Chennai. And second filter is to compare total marks with variable x. If the total marks are higher than variable x, then we are updating the variable. Based on the combination of these two filtering conditions, we can conclude that the variable x will store the highest total marks of a student from Chennai. This is the list of all such students from Chennai. Hence, the answer of this question is 254. Next, what will the values of A and B represent at the end of execution of the given procedure on the scores dataset? Step 1. Arrange all cards in a single pile called pile 1. Step 2. Maintain two variables A, B and initialize them to 0. Step 3. If pile 1 is empty, then stop the iteration. Step 4. Read the top card in pile 1. Step 5. If A is less than chemistry marks, then store chemistry marks in A. Step 6. If mathematics marks less than B, then store mathematics marks in B. Step 7. Move the current card to another pile called pile 2 and repeat from step 3. In the given procedures, step 5, variable A gets updated only if chemistry marks are higher than the current value of variable A, which indicates that the variable A is used to store highest marks in chemistry. Similarly, we can see that the variable B is getting updated only when mathematics marks are lower than the variable B. Using step 6, one can assume that the variable B is computing the lowest marks in mathematics. But that assumption is incorrect because the variable B is initialized to 0 in step 2. And as we have studied that the initial value of variable mean should be set to highest value in the range while finding lowest marks. Therefore, the variable B's value will never change and we will end up with 0 which does not re represent anything specific. Hence, the answer of this question is none of the above. Next question. The following procedure finds the date of birth of the physics topper student from the scores data set. But the programmer may have made mistakes in one or more steps. Identify all such steps if any. It is a multiple select question. Step 1. Arrange all cards in a single pile called pile 1. Correct. Step 2. Maintain a variable max and initialize it to 0. Correct. Step 3. Maintain a variable dob and initialize it to none. Correct. Step 4. If pile 1 is empty, then stop the iteration. Correct. Step 5. Read the top card in pile 1. Correct. Step 6. If physics marks greater than max, then store physics marks in max and date of birth in DOB. 
that's also correct step 7 move the current card to another pile called pile 2 and repeat from step 4 correct as we can see there is no mistake in the given procedure hence the answer of this question is the last option no mistake next question answer the following sub questions based on execution of the following pseudo code using the paragraph words data set let us analyze the given pseudo code here we have initialized variables a and b to 0 the while loop is iterating over all the cards available in pile 1 first if statement checks the part of speech is noun or not if it is noun then we will execute inner if statement which checks the later count of the word if this later count is greater than 6 then we will increment variable a otherwise we will execute else block and increment variable b now the question is what will the value of a represent at the end of execution of the above pseudocode by combining uh, given two if statements we can conclude that the variable a counts the number of nouns with letter count greater than 6. Hence, the correct answer of this question is total number of nouns having letter count greater than 6. Next question, what will be the value of b after execution of the above pseudocode? As we have analyzed that the variable b is storing the number of nouns with letter count lesser than or equal to 6. This is the list of all such words. Hence, the answer of this question is 10. Let's check whether the submitted answers are correct or not. As we can see, they all are correct. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Happy learning.